Hey guys, what's up? It's Uniform Wire, and today we're going to be making the Zipper Cinnip Paracord Survival Bracelet. We're going to be making it with a buckle, but I'm pretty sure you can make it without one, so if you want me to try to figure that out, then go ahead and let me know in the comments. Also, everyone keeps telling me how I keep rushing, and I'm sorry, it's just I don't have a whole lot of time to do these, so I'm trying to slow down, just know that I'm working on it. <laughs> The first thing you need is about 6 feet of light blue 550 paracord and 6 feet of dark blue 550 paracord and also a 15 millimeter buckle. Links to those will be in the description. Now, as you can see, this is a clip from a different video real quick just because I was using I was using some extra cord and I had already put them together. So what you're going to do is you're going to cut off both ends of the strands and then you're just going to go ahead and melt them and press them together. Then go ahead and roll that melt to make sure it has a good seal. They go a little bit off of that cinch part and bend the cord back. Pull that down through the buckle and pull those two strands down through that loop. And then go ahead and tighten that cow's hitch. Try to make sure when you tighten it that it covers the cinch part. Then you're going to pull those two strands around and down through the other side of the buckle. Then you're just going to go ahead and tighten that around your wrist. This bracelet isn't very thick, so make sure it's about the size that you want it. Just a little bit more space around your wrist than how you want to wear it, if that makes any sense. Then you're going to start the braid. So go ahead and take your left strand and put it in front of the two middle strands. Take your right strand, go over that strand, but make sure it is still going down in line with the other, the other two strands. And then take that dark blue strand and wrap it around in front of the two right strands and down through the middle. And then pull that off to the left. And then go ahead and tighten that. When you're tightening this first one, it's a little bit tricky, so you want to make sure you tighten it all the way up to the top. And then we're going to do one more of these and try it around your wrist just to make sure that it's still the same size. So when you do this pattern, you're going to alternate sides every single time. So now you're going to take your right cord and pull it across and in front of all of those strands. Take your left strand and go over that strand. Take that light blue strand and pull it down between the two middle strands and off to the right side. Obviously when you do that, you want to make sure it is going over the dark blue strand. Then go ahead and tighten that up to the top. Like I said, try that around your wrist, making sure it is still roughly the size that you want it. And then you do the first step again. So you're gonna take that left strand and cross over the middle strands. Take your right strand, make sure it's going over that strand. And then grab the dark blue strand and pull it down through the middle strands and off to the left. And then tighten that. And 
And this is a pretty simple pattern, so you're just going to continue doing that until you get all the way down to the end of the bracelet. And then you're going to do a cobra stitch. So go ahead, and as you can see here, we finished with the light blue in front. So you're going to take that light blue, and you're going to pull it in front of the bracelet. Take your dark blue, wrap it around that light blue, going over it, and then behind the bracelet and up through that right loop. And then tighten that. Make sure that stays under the cow's hitch when you tighten that. It should not be overlapping it. Then you're just going to go ahead and tighten both of those strands and cut and singe them. With this bracelet, once again, you want to make sure with this bracelet, you want to cut those pretty close to the bracelet just to make sure it ends up nice and smooth, and then you're done. Anyway, guys, that is the end of the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I haven't been uploading as much as I probably should be in the past maybe month or so, so right now I've been sticking to once a week. I just don't have a whole lot of time right now, but I will keep working on it, and I will still upload regardless of when. It's usually I'm going to try to stick to once a week at the very least. I'll so we're at like 4,800 subscribers or something crazy like that. So if you do know someone who would be interested in this channel and wants to subscribe, then go ahead and let them know that I'm almost at 5,000. Or if you haven't subscribed, then go ahead and subscribe because I'm trying to get to 5,000. But anyway, guys, like I said, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.